here we are again. Woo! Ooh, and it's cold out, so we have put something on our heads to keep us warm, like winter people do. <laughs> Hey out there. Internet lands. You Welcome remember back. us? Welcome back to us. Welcome back to you. Welcome back to art. Yes. And we're here today with a quick little drawing fun time. Mm -hmm. What does it have to do with Amy? Well, we have a clue on our heads right we now. We do. It's not just our giant brains. It's, it's a toque. And what's cuter than a human in a toque? A raccoon in a toque. Oh, so Check cute. it. Raccoons get a bad rap because they're just getting in the trash. Gnarly little creatures. So here's what you need today, children. Yeah. Paper. Thank Something you. to draw on. Mm -hmm. A surface. If you just have pencils, then you can do it. But today we're going to look at a little bit of shading. Ooh. So you need your fingers. Yes. And then any type of marker, you could use a crayon or an oil pastel, just whatever. Like, grab whatever you got. Yeah, and like if you want to add color for the toque. Maybe some felt markers. Felt markers, maybe some pencil crayons. Oh my gosh. Oh maybe gosh. some paints. Holy whatever smokes. you got going on. And put right. your own toque on and let's get in the spirit and do this thing. All right, children. Now you've got your paper, you've got your pencil. We're ready to go. Let's do this. Let's make a raccoon. We're going to start with the toques. Okay, leave a space and you're going to do just like a curved line. Curved line. You don't have to be married to it. It'll no. change, right? And it's pencil, friends, so you can erase. Then you're gonna make two little curved lines on the side. This is like our raccoon rolled it up. Oh, cool. For some street cred. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna make some ears, just little rounded poke triangles. Out. They poke out. I don't know if it even makes sense, but I'm gonna make two little lines here All right. for my ears. Ash. And then I'm going to make them into little scoopy, rounded oh. triangles. Your ears Cute. may look different than ours. Good. Okay, we are going to connect this rolled up part of the tube. But when you hit your ears, you're going to fall along. You want to jump Ooh. over. Keep going. Jump on over. Boom. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Wow. We're killing it. And now you're just gonna make the top of your toque. Is your toque bunched up? Is it just straight up? It's gonna go right off the page. I like to do a little kind of squiggled line, like mm. it's it's a little bunchy. I'm gonna do like a just a bean, oh, yeah. traditional side of the face. Cute. Let's make this right because raccoon. he's got like a cool kind of football shape, mm -hmm. squiggled, and he's scruffy. He's mm -hmm. out. Raccoons don't need to be perfect. They've so. been digging in your trash. Yeah. They've been running Run through the forest. Do <laughs> they? We know nothing of raccoons. Okay, so you're just gonna come out on both ends and just kind of squiggle line. I'm not even. Oh, oh I love how really? free you are. <laughs> You are free. Woo! Whoa! And then to finish off the head, yeah. we're gonna do oh. such a scoopy line. What okay. kind of shape is this? It's a wave. It's an upside yeah, down wave. Yeah, do the You're wave. gonna go up. You're gonna go down and up. Boom, boom. Oh, okay. they're gonna be so cute. What's next is your nose. So you're gonna make a little nose on your Aww. dude. Uh, it's like a little gumdrop. Oh, a cute little gumdrop You know, drop if shade. you wanna do a triangle, sure. I like to keep it a little rounded. It's nice to make a little guide here. So you're just gonna okay. make a line up. This is gonna be our little face stripe later. Okay. So but it's a nice little guide, guide. to have, okay? Yep. Two eyes. Ooh. You might have a way out there that you like to do eyes. Otherwise, you can follow along. So you're gonna do a circle. We're starting with the outside circle or the inside circle? We are circle? starting with the outside circle. Okay, I'm so glad you said that. Outside circle, so outside make Outside circle. So you're making two giant circles and then you'll make two more on the inside. Just follow that one along. Yeah. The inside. What's a nice thing to put inside eyes, Ames? Ooh, a little catch light. A little catch light. A little reflection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll come back to that. Okay. Why are they so cute? <laughs> and the body is so easy. You're just going to bring two okay. lines down. All right. You could have a skinny little dude. You could have a fat guy. And you could scruff him up a little bit. Yeah. Scruff it up. Scruff it up. And if you're feeling crazy and you really want it to look like a raccoon, 
You could add a you tail on the side. Add a tail. So it depends how much room you have. Yeah. You just kind of make a little scruffy coming up the side. I don't know. It's like a little mountain shape in the back. And then, so fun to scribble, a little... scribble up some stripes. Yeah. So to make it look like a real raccoon, we're going to make our mask here. Okay. Okay. So I come up beside this line and I'm just going to make like a little zigzag squiggly line across the eyes and under the eye. Okay. Yours might look totally different. Oh, I like what you got going on there. And then if you'd like maybe some arms, I like to just do some lines down here. It doesn't okay. really matter. Yeah. Now. We're going to outline in Sharpie before we get to our shadow. Okay. They are looking really cute. So, okay. hopefully you have a Sharpie around. If not, maybe a black crayon. Can do that. Yeah, anything. Take your black mother's eyeliner. Crayon. Okay, and you're going to outline pretty much everything. John is in a basement mixing up the medicine. I'm as you come to the end of outlining, we're gonna use our pencil to just do a little bit of shading. Hey. So all you need for this is a pencil and your finger. Nice. You know? We got HBs in the house, but any any darker Bs would be great. HB ah, great. Right. Okay, they do have this little stripe in the center and you don't need to be too careful with it. You don't want to blend with your whole hand because you'll just no, not smear be everything. Yeah. You no. want to have the light tone, the mid tone, and yeah. the pencil, and the dark tone as a sharpie. Yes. Look out, kid! Don't matter what you did, but walk on. A little bit under this head here. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Walk on your tiptoes, don't tie no bows. Better stay away from the. No We're not being too careful with our pencil either. No. This is pretty texture drawing. It's kind of like. Lots of movement, mm -hmm. lots of energy. So you You're could right. definitely go and slow down and really smooth out your shading, or you could just go wild and don't worry about seeing all those marks because mm -hmm. it adds a lot of character, I would say. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're so cute. sweet together! Okay, what color toque are you gonna do? You could use markers. You could use like Crayola. You could use pencil crayons. I might even use pencil crayons. Nice. Okay. Nice thing about pencil crayon is you can get like really dark tones, mm -hmm. light tones, mid tones, just like all of our shading here. And the same thing. You don't have to be super smooth about it. You can leave a lot of white space if you want. Mm -hmm. You can just kind of leave it scratchy. The vinyl took the handle. Yeah, what's up? Don't catch this guy yeah. on the side of the street. I no trust good. your guy a little less than I trust my guy. <laughs> totally. Holy, have you seen cuter raccoons in your Never. life? I dare you to find them. So sweet. That's that, folks. Did you make a raccoon? Oh, Let's they're see. so sweet. Cut them out. Cut them out. Make more. Make a hundred. Make 100. a background. As always, if you do this at home, send mm -hmm. us a little pic. For real, we love to see what you're up to at home. Uh, mm -hmm. Thanks for stopping in. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Smash it. Happy raccoon. Happy toques. Happy winter. Later. Mm -hmm.